Our newest dame, Quentin Bryce, has returned home to Brisbane after fulfilling her final formal duties as Governor-General. She's shared her plans for the future as she settles back into Queensland life. No dignitary has knocked her off her feet like this. She might be a dame, but in this house, the Honourable Quinton Bryce is just grandma. Thank you, thank you. This morning, Her Excellency carried out her final formal duty as Governor-General, laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Last night, her official portrait was unveiled at a farewell reception at Parliament House. Her return to Brisbane in an Air Force jet. The number of grandchildren in the Bryce family has doubled since Dame Bryce was appointed Governor-General in 2008, becoming the first female to hold that title. Prior to that, she was the Governor of Queensland for five years. I've learned so much about our country, its landscape, the service of Australians. Dame Quentin Bryce is most looking forward to reflecting on her experiences as the Queen's Australian representative. She plans to write a book and spend more time with her grandchildren. Husband Michael will also be busy, not just with charitable commitments. I but you do have a big list of jobs. <laughs> mm, mostly. <laughs> mostly baby <laughs> Always graceful, though her tenure wasn't without controversy. In a speech last November, Dame Bryce endorsed the nation becoming a republic and legalising gay marriage. Despite her views, she's at ease with her new title of Dame. Well, it, it, it is about uh, community contribution. Her highlight was working with our armed forces, visiting them in Afghanistan and presenting our highest military honour, the Victoria Cross. Her successor, General Peter Cosgrove, will be sworn in on Friday. Ebony Cavallaro, Nine News.